Hey guys, it's Renee. So it's been a while, like a month actually, and it's because I actually don't know if YouTube demonetizes you if you say the word that it's in the title, but I'm just gonna avoid mentioning that word. I wanted to talk about it without getting too medical. Well, I share with you this DIY because I used a lot of like clinics during my time and I wanted to make a case for clinics a bit prettier. I'm just gonna be focusing more on like my symptoms as opposed to like what I'm doing. Hopefully it's easy to follow and just self-explanatory I'm going to be leaving notes all over the place so that it's easier to just follow along if you want to go for this. But overall, wrapping this with contact paper, I do have the preview for this one, decorating this with some twine and adding some touches towards the end. But yeah, I started by feeling like my body will hurt, like body ache like a lot every part of my body it's one of those things that you know you're gonna get something a uh, flu and something's gonna happen because your body starts to hurt then after that i got a lot of like sore throat like a lot of it and i was feeling really really tired i usually don't take like naps in the afternoon and by now i was taking a lot of them i would just fall asleep like randomly when i woke up i was just still feeling tired i was sleeping a lot like feeling tired but restless you know what i mean but what made it worse is what happened and then my ears started hurting a lot, like a lot. Every time I wanted to drink some water, every time I wanted to swallow my saliva, eat, it would just be so painful to just swallow, basically. It was so, so, so painful, like so much so that at some point I didn't want to eat a lot, I didn't want to drink water. If I had saliva, I just hold it in there, that is really gross, I know it sounds really gross and it's really bad, but it was real painful to just swallow. I remember that I would just close my eyes because the pain was so bad and it was so painful to just do that. I was living in acne at that point because I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink, my body was like hurting a lot, I was sleeping like a lot, I don't know, I was just tired all of the time, like a lot. I also got a runny nose, hence me using Kleenex or just tissue papers, so it was a lot of symptoms at the same time, but heavy, like a really strong flu or just like the father of all flus. I obviously got like a positive in my like lab test, I never experienced anything like this in my life. It's beyond like a big flu. For me, it was way more than that. It was like really, really painful. It depends. Some people get it bad like I did. Some people get it like even worse. I feel for them. And some people felt like it was like a regular flu. And I think those people are lucky. I got my two vaccines. I never got my boost. I'm going to. And now I like am out of it. It was because of my dad. Just tell me what, what medicine to take, what not to take. I'm recovering and still don't feel like my best. I get tired a lot still. That's why I haven't been posting like YouTube videos at all. And I remember feeling guilty because I haven't been really active here. But I wanted to come here and I would sit in my desk and I didn't have energy or just my mind was not in the mood for that. My recovery, like a lot of people, is going to be slower than a lot of people. And that's okay, we're all different. But, like energy levels, like I used to have them, is gonna take a while for me. I mean, I've never been like the most active in a, like energy person in the world but I don't feel like 100% yet but I'm you know slowly but surely getting there so I didn't like at all like the experience of it but the two things that I kind of miss or just kind of liked the pampering was great because I was sick people were just really like attentive pampering like getting all my meals done for me if you're an adult you're pretty much on your own you have to figure it out so it was nice to just get that part done for you but I don't miss the why it was happening. And another thing that I kind of miss is um, I struggle to fall asleep like a lot. And because I was like tired of the time, whenever I wanted to go to sleep, I just went, to, like I can just fall into bed and just fall asleep like within minutes of like rolling there. I just didn't struggle at all to fall asleep. So it was great to fall asleep like super fast then and then. But then again, I remember the pain that I was the next day with my sore throat and my ears being just like super, super painful. It's like a really, really hard to explain what kind of pain. It was like someone was from like the inside of my ears. Someone was like compressing them, sort of. Not even that, I don't know how to explain it. But hopefully I never experienced that kind of pain in my life again. And hopefully you don't either. Still not 100% though, but hopefully soon we're getting there. But yeah, after a month, I wanted to say hi to you again. I'm kind of back, hopefully. And it, I just wanted to say that if you're going through this, you get this. Um, it's going to be better. You're going to feel better soon. Take like a lot of water. I was eating a lot of like oranges and apples 
or if you have a flu or just anything else hopefully you feel better soon but yeah i wanted to talk about it and get it out of the way for my next diys but yeah hopefully this was helpful maybe you can relate to uh, my symptoms and hopefully you like this diy i made two options one plain which i feel like it's the one that i would go for if i were to use this for like home decor all year round but since i'm not i just use this kinds of things when i have a flu i wanted my box to shoot me up for some reason it's really weird i just wanted to breathe and get well soon just because i wanted to feel better when i was really feeling bad you know what i mean every time i just used like a clinic or whatever i just wanted to feel better and i just wanted to read uh get well soon but yeah thank you so much for watching i really hope this was helpful and handy take care and i'll talk to you later bye